everyone welcome to my channel let's get started with this beautiful craft work please watch the video until the end so that you don't miss any important step I take a cardboard and then cut it of size 33 plus 26 cm I take two pieces of the same size I am now taking a string and then going to stick it using the hard glue in between these two cardboard pieces. Now using the masking tape to cover and then seal the edges of the cardboard in all the sides. Now it's ready. I have drawn a dancing lady outline and then cut it to the shape. Now again going to seal the edges of the lady. I am cutting the masking tape here so that it will fit perfectly to the structure. And now it's totally covered. This is plaster of Paris and then white glue and the next ingredient will be water. All three in equal proportion and then mix it well. Now apply it as a base coat for the cardboard. This will help the cardboard to get stiffer. Apply it everywhere and then let it dry. Once it's dry completely, we should apply for the second coat. So make sure it's dry completely before you start with the second coat. Now it's perfectly dry. This is plaster of Paris and then glue in equal proportion. Make it a perfect paste. There should not be any lumps in it. Now apply it all over again. I am using a fork here to get a nice texture for the frame, making strikes. Once you are done with it, let it dry completely before you start with the clay work. See now it's dry completely. I have drawn the lady again so that I know the clear idea to work with the clay. I have taken the air dry clay and then I am going to roll it. I am going to roll it big so that it will match the size of the skirt. Now I am going to cut the clay matching to the shape of the cardboard then making a skirt out of it now the skirt is ready I am going to stick it using the glue I am making some design in the skirt
you can do it as you like I'm trying to make a bigger flask Again, it's up to you. You can do your variations in your face. I feel it's so plain so I am just making some strikes in the skirt. Now creating some strikes in the bottom part. And the skirt is ready now. Now going to stick the shawl part. I want to show some folds in the shawl. So I am just rolling the clay really really thin and then making some lines out of it. You can see the shawl part is ready now. I am using the lead refill to make some impression in the outline of the shawl. Now done with the head part. Sorry I have missed recording the face part actually. Now working with the hands. The next is the upper body. Sticking the blouse part. Taking out the extra clay, creating some design over the blouse. Now sticking the other hand. Now sticking the hair, roll the clay into tiny threads and then stick it all over the head part. Again the same technique for the bangles. Lastly, the jewels. Now adding extra beauty to the shawl. And then making some designs all over it. If you can see, the clay part is ready now. 
I am using the tissue paper and then sticking it using the glue in the frame area to, to form a nice texture for the frame. Once it's done, please let it dry completely for like 24 to 48 hours before painting your art. I'm using all acrylic colors here, burnt amber for the frame as a base coat. Deep cyan blue for the skirt. Burnt sienna and titanium white as a mixture for the skin. Yellow arch for the blouse. Vermilion for the shawl. Black for the hair, eyes and then to highlight the jewels and the shoes and bangles. Red for the lips and bindi. Metallic copper as a border for the skirt. And also to highlight the design part in the skirt. Metallic gold to highlight the shawl, shoes and then the jewels. The beautiful dancing lady is ready now. Hope you all like this video. If you like it, please like, share and comment. See you in my next video.